Gym time. Where's Zoe? He's usually here by now. Zoe! Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't hear you come in. Hello, Zoe. Oh, we're not too early for the session we booked, are we? Uh, no, but Zygmunt and Zarosta are on the court at the moment. Really? Uh, but we booked it a couple of days ago. I expect you did, but a uh, bit of a problem. Computer's down, so I can't access the bookings. <laughs> I've been writing stuff down on these sticky bits of paper and... Whoops! Uh... Zoe, look. This is our booking. See? Oh. Yes. Uh, Zoo and Zach, half past ten. Hmm. And it's 10.33 already. Yeah, it, it looks like I made a mistake. Uh, so, do you, do you mind waiting a few minutes? Sigmund and Zarosta will be finished soon. We'll wait, won't we? In the meantime, <laughs> let's have a game of... Spot the Pock. Huh? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Too easy. There he is! I won! <laughs> Match point. Oh. Yes! <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, hello. I hope we haven't worn out the court with all that running. Oh, all yours now. Thanks. OK, you two, time to get started. Yes! yes! <laughs> Hello there. Oh, Zoo. Hi, Zoo. Zach. Hello. Hello. We're playing tennis. Hello, Zowie. Did you manage to sort out the music for our dance session? Uh, yes, but you can't start yet. Zoo and Zach are on next, and I've had to keep them waiting. We've been waiting for yonks. We've been playing I Spy. Uh, but, Zoe, we booked the gym for this time, didn't we? Uh, yes, but my computer's down and I've written stuff down on these stickies, but I don't know who booked what when. Uh, I booked this class last week, Zowie. Yes, uh, I, I expect you did, but, um, oh, sorry. Perhaps you could play I Spy for a bit. I mean, like, hmm. you could go after Zoo and Zack. But Mummy's taking me shopping after this. And I have to give an art class in an hour. I can't wait either. Uh, yes, of course. I see. Um, perhaps you could share the space with the girls. Just this once? I suppose we can try. As long as we all do our best to keep to our own space, it should be OK. What do you reckon, Zena? It isn't ideal, but... Elsie, Zinnia, what do you say to sharing with the boys? Just this once. I don't mind, Mum. OK. Hmm. Good. That's settled, then. OK, so tennis this side and dancing over there. Have fun. Just give me a shout if there are any problems. <laughs> Stretch. Like this? Not quite. Keep your arm tight into the body like this. You said stretch. No, I think you must have misheard me. Hmm. Jump. Huh. Oh. Elsie, why are you jumping? You just told me to. <laughs> no, I didn't. I think that was Zoo's dad. He does have a loud voice. How are we supposed to dance if we keep hearing him? We'll just have to concentrate. Maybe some music will help. <laughs> Run for the ball, Zoo! <gasps> Yay! I said run, Zoo! I didn't hear you! Never mind! Let's try again! Zack! On the count of three, hit the ball to Zoo! 
One, two, three. <gasps> hey, I wasn't ready. But you said hit the ball on three, so I did. I haven't started counting yet. Jump! Not you two. That was Zena telling the girls to jump. Dad, we can't play tennis like this. <sighs> I'm getting all muddled up. I know it isn't easy, but if you both concentrate a bit harder, it's just this once. Now your serve, Zach. <laughs> Ask these two to aim their shots a bit better. Oh, never mind. It isn't exactly an ideal situation. Sorry again. Come on, boys. Let's give it another go. Maybe a bit more volume will help your focus. <laughs> Zach. What? Oh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Silly ball. Hmm. <sighs> I give up. <sighs> I don't think Zinnia wants to share the hall anymore, Mum. Hmm. Maybe we should call it a day. Oh. But we've still got lots of time left. Oh, I don't want to give up either, Elsie. Hmm, maybe I've got an idea. <laughs> Sue's right. If we've got to share the gym, we might as well do something together. But if I can't dance, I don't want to do anything. And I wouldn't have to share if I went home. What do you think, Zach? We could play anything you want. I want to play tennis. But, Zach, how about... All right. I suppose we could try. Great! Let the game begin! <laughs> nice pirouette there, Elsie! Well, your mum's right, Elsie. If you stretch that bit more, you can throw the ball a really long way. Thanks for your advice, Sue. I'm going to try that in tennis. Bend your knees a bit more, Elsie. <laughs> hey, Zena, are you after my coaching job? <laughs> I could be. <laughs> Good shot, Elsie. Yay! <laughs> wow! Zinnia, I didn't think you wanted to play. Well, I didn't, but it looks like fun. Excellent. Better to share than just sit on the sidelines. Huh? Go for it, Zinnia. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> 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 you know, this is so much fun, I almost want Zowie to double book us again. <laughs> 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 Zoo, 
the tightrope walker. From Zoo. I know, but I caught it and I scored the goal. The team did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids, listen up. <laughs> like we said, this term you can choose between two of the usual gym activities the pommel horse and rope climbing, or we've got a new thing you can try out the slack line. What's a slack line? It's a strong, flat strap suspended above the floor. You have to walk across it like a tightrope walker. It's quite difficult, but it's a very good exercise for balance. Hmm. What are you going to go for? The slack line. It sounds great. Uh, yeah, uh, me too. Can I go for the slack line as well? Of course you can. You heard, Zowie. Zowie, we'd all like to do the slack <laughs> line, please. Hmm. Oh, uh, sorry. There are only three of you. We need at least four students for any of the activities. Oh! Hmm. Um. Zinnia, I think she must have forgotten to sign up for anything before she left. Oh, yes. You're right. Go and see what she wants to do. If it's the slack line, that'll make four. Yeah, I hope it is. And then I scored a goal, so we won. And Zowie said I was really, really good. And so you are, Zinnia Pops. Such a talented sports person. Hello. Ah, hello. Well done on the match, Zoo. Zinnia was telling me about the win. Thank you. Zinnia scored a great goal. Hey, Zinnia, you haven't signed up for the next class yet. Oh, did we have to sign up? Yes. Me and Zach and Elsie all signed up for the slack line. It sounds great. Uh... Slack line? What's that? It's like a sort of tightrope. <laughs> We've never had a tightrope walker in the family. But it's not really a tightrope. It's quite safe. It's really close to the floor. <laughs> this oh. slack thing, it, it doesn't sound like a sport to me. Oh, come on, Zinnia. Give it a go. We only need one more person. But I don't want to. Oh, all right. So, which are you going to do? The pommel horse or rope climbing? I haven't decided yet. I've got some homework to do. <sighs> I don't know why Zinnia won't try the slack line. Well, I don't know either, but it's her choice, I suppose. I suppose so. Still, if you'd like to practice this slack line um... thing, I've had an idea. Now, imagine this is your slack line. You have to walk along it without stepping off. Can I have the first go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no! My turn. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, this isn't as easy as it looks. Let me have a go. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoops! Wow. Well done, all of you. You're going to make great little tightrope walkers. Hello, how are you? I'll be over in a minute, Zinny Pops. <laughs> what are you doing? Practicing slack lining. Oh, can I have a go? Of course you can. <laughs> You're pretty good. Looks like you'll be great on the slack line. Oh. No. Oh. This is easy because it's on the ground. The slack line's up in the air. Yes, but you looked really good. Why don't you try again? No, let's play something else. Yes! Uh, let's go up on the slide. Whoa! Oh. No, I don't want to get my dress dirty. Oh. I know. Let's do some ballet practice. Uh, okay. Oh, 
right. <laughs> Grandpa, Zinnia looks like she's really good at balancing. Why can't she walk along the line? I think she could if she wanted to. She might have got it wrong on purpose. And she didn't want to play on the slide, either. Maybe she's a bit scared of heights. Huh? Some people feel a bit wobbly when they're up high. The slack line, the pommel horse, rope climbing, they're all off the ground. So that's why she didn't want to sign up for anything. Could be. Uh, but <laughs> why didn't she say? She probably doesn't want to admit it. Do you think I could help her somehow? You might be able to. She needs to face her fear little by little. <laughs> Hurry up! The class is starting! Uh, you can start without me. Okay. <laughs> hmm, Zinnia still hasn't signed up. Have you spoken to her? Yes, but I think she's scared of heights. Hmm, that could be a problem. Could we have the slack line really close to the floor? Good idea. <laughs> then we can make it higher little by little and Zinnia might get used to it. <laughs> OK. It's ready. at all for a first try. Thanks, Zowie. We did practice a bit with Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> You'll go, Zoo. Hmm. <gasps> oh, Zoo, that was really good. Thank you. Do you want to go, Zinnia? Um, go on, Zinnia. It's brilliant fun. It's quite safe. I'll walk along with you. I'll be there to catch you. Don't worry. Yes, but... Oh, OK. Great stuff, Zinnia. If you hadn't looked down, you'd have reached the other end. <laughs> Ooh. Go on, Zinnia. Have another go. And don't look down. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well done, Zinnia. <laughs> You've got a really good sense of balance. Let's raise the slack line again. Oh, it really is too mm. high this time. Don't worry about the height. Just cross it like you did last time. I can't. Hang on. Let me have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Just as easy at this height. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I'll have a go. Oh. 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 Don't look down. Uh, Come on, Zinnia, uh, you can make it. Oh. Don't look down. Well done, Zinnia. I'm proud of you. Actually, 
actually slacklining is really fun, isn't it, Zoo? Yeah, it's brilliant. I'm going to be a slackliner when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Zelda's birthday present. Here we are, Zinnia. Thank you, Mrs. Zolly. Hmm. Hi, Sue. Hello, Grandpa. Hello there. Hi, Zinnia. Look, Zinnia, this is for your mum. Oh, cool. It's nice. It's a picture of the birthday cake my mum's made for her. <sighs> Do you want to paint a picture too? I'm not in the mood for painting. <clears throat> What's the matter, Zinnia? I haven't got mum a birthday present. I'll be the only person at her party who hasn't got her a present. You could get her a necklace. She's got eight. A scarf? She's got eleven. A handbag? I can't tell you how many handbags she's got. Um... Um, smelly perfume? She's got lots of bottles of perfume. There's nothing I can think of that Mum hasn't got. <gasps> then why not make your own present? Something especially for Aunt Zelda. Oh, that's a good idea. A unique gift. Oh, what's a unique gift, Grandpa? Well, something that's so special, there's only one of its kind in the whole wide world. <gasps> only one in the whole wide world? That would be an amazing present. <laughs> <gasps> I could make Mum a beautiful box for all her beautiful things. Hmm, how could you make a box extra super? Unique, special. Ooh, ooh, I could decorate it with Mum's favourite things. Yes, you could paint it her favourite colour. <laughs> so, what is your mum's favourite colour, Zinnia? Uh, red. Or maybe blue. I can't remember. We need to find out. Hmm. Her favourite flowers are roses. Pink roses, white roses, red roses. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, what, what's her favourite smell? What perfume does she like the best? I don't know. Hmm. Don't worry, Zinnia. All we need to do is find out. Yes, we can ask her. She'll be here soon. Yoo-hoo! <gasps> Where is everybody? Hello, Zelda. The kids are over there. Thank you. Oh, I've got an idea. Hmm? Start painting, Zinnia. Hello, darlings. Hello. Hello. Happy birthday, Zelda. Hello, you. Thank you. <laughs> Aunt Zelda, where's Uncle Xavier? Oh, he'll join us later. Have a seat, Zelda. Mm. You can watch the artists at work. Oh, thank you. <gasps> oh, what lovely paintings. This picture's for you, Aunt Zelda. A birthday cake. Thank you, Zoo. This is for you too, Mummy. I want to paint it to your favourite birthday colour. Blue, Poppet. Bright sky blue. <sighs> Finished! Uh, me too. Mummy, can we go to the park, please? Why, yes. A stroll with my two favourite little ones would be lovely. You like roses, don't you, Mummy? How clever of you to remember, Zinnia. I love their delicate, fragile beauty. Red roses, pink roses, orange and white. Which is your favourite, Aunt Zelda? I really couldn't say, Zoo. They're all so gorgeous. But, but it's your birthday. You must have a favourite birthday, Rose. <laughs> well, if I had to choose a colour, it would be... Uh... <gasps> hmm. Gold. 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 Yes. Golden yellow roses are definitely my favourite. Now we have to find out her favourite perfume. Shh, she might hear us. 
We don't want to spoil the surprise. Oh, um, do, do you mind if I pop inside, Zelda? I've got to pick up a few things for Grandma. You go ahead. We'll wait right here for you. Uh, but it's nice inside Mr Zoe's shop, Mummy. Yes, dear. It's a very nice little shop. <gasps> oh! Aunt Zelda, we need your help. Zoo, what are you... Oh, oh. Hmm. So, what help do you need? Zillia says you know all about perfume. <laughs> I must admit, I do rather like it. <laughs> so, which one do you think Grandpa should buy for Grandma? Ah, well, now, let me see. <gasps> Stay there, Grandpa. Sue's asking Mummy a very important question. <laughs> I'd say lavender and jasmine. It's the perfect combination for Grandma. Mmm, mm, nice. nice. Grandma would love that. But we still don't know what Mummy's favourite perfume is. Which smell do you like best, Aunt Zelda? Mmm, so many to choose from. Hyacinth and mint is lovely. <sighs> Bluebell and rose, very unusual. <laughs> oh, lime and sage, so fresh and tangy. But this is my all-time favourite. <laughs> Lily of the Valley. Lily, Lily of the, the valley. valley! Lovely! All done, Zoo. All done, Grandpa. Oh, these flowers look beautiful, Zelda. Um, yeah, have you seen them before? Quickly, Zinnia. Mm. Go back inside the shop, ask Mr Zoe to spray some tissues with your mum's favourite perfume. Why? So we can line the box with the tissues. Then every <laughs> time she opens it, she'll smell Lily of the Valley. <gasps> Brilliant idea! <laughs> <gasps> oh, no! Oh, oh, Lily of the Valley. <gasps> Come inside, Zelda. Grandma's waiting to see oh. you. <gasps> Come on, let's get started. There's no point, Zoo. Why? Mum knows the tissue smell of Lily of the Valley. Uh, does that really matter? Yes! I've ruined the surprise! No, you haven't. Aunt Zelda doesn't know anything about the box or what you're going to do with it. Come on! Well, well, what a surprise. Happy birthday, Aunt Zelda. Thank you, Sue. That's lovely. Hmm. Happy birthday, Mummy. Zinnia Pops, how lovely. A beautiful box oh. for all your beautiful things. Oh, it's decorated with my favourite golden roses. And it's painted beautiful sky blue, my favourite colour. And it smells of my favourite perfume, Lily of the Valley. Oh, Zinnia, how clever. How on earth did you guess my favourite things? <laughs> With a lot of help from Zoo. Aunt Zelda, it's a totally unique gift. Hmm. There's only one like it in the whole wide world. And there's only one little daughter in the whole wide world who could have thought of such a beautiful gift for her mummy.
You are the kindest little zebras. <laughs> Thank you for making my birthday absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh, it was nothing, really. Zoos carry a bird. <laughs> Your turn, Puck. Oh, dear. Poor Puck. Never mind, Puck. I'll do it. Hello? Hello? Hmm. I've tried email and the mobile and now the phone isn't working either. I know. I think it was the snowstorm last night. It seems to have affected everything. Oh, great. And I wanted to invite Zelda and the family for dinner tomorrow evening. I expect the lines will be working again by tomorrow. I hope so. Grandma, what did we do before telephones were invented? Everyone got on quite happily without them. Hmm. They used to write letters then. Yes. There were lots of other ways of communicating too. Smoke signals, drums, the telegraph. Oh, and carrier pigeons. <laughs> um... Carrier pigeons? That's right. Carrier pigeons were birds trained to carry messages. They were fast and dependable. Oh! <laughs> You'd make a great carrier bird, Pock. <laughs> Pock seems to think so too. He might need a bit of training first. OK, we'll start right away. He just needs a little bag to carry his messages in. <laughs> I think they're all jealous of the bag Grandma made for you. OK, Sue. I'm ready. Off you go, Puck. Hello. Hello, Elsie. If you get this message, hop three times, then jump once with your feet together. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Puck. <laughs> Sue, what are you playing? We're teaching Puck to deliver messages. You know, like a carrier pigeon. Brilliant. Can I help? Of course you can. Let's try Pock over a longer distance. Yes. Elsie, you go back to your house and I'll send you a message. OK. Right, Pock. You've got a new mission. Oh. Elsie, I thought you were going to play with Zoo. I am. I'm just waiting for a message from him. But the telephone isn't working. I know. Oh. Oh, hello. It's Pock. Yep, with my message. <laughs> hmm. You are my best friend. <laughs> my word. You two have found a very clever way of talking to one another. <laughs> yeah. And now for my reply. Anyone want to give me a hand clearing the snow from the path? Oh, I'll help. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Look, Dad, Elsie's replied. Pog's really got the hang of message delivery. Izu, I've had a thought. Do you think Pock could take a message to Zelda for me? You know, the invitation to dinner tomorrow. Pock, could you find your way to Uncle Xavier's shop on your own? Where's the invitation, Mum? Well, well, well. We've had a message from Zoo. What does it say? He's invited us to eat with them tomorrow. Yippee! Is that 
lunch or dinner? Oh, it, it doesn't say. I'll ask him. Hey, Pot's back. And he's brought a reply. Already? <laughs> You're as fast as lightning. Hmm. Uncle Xavier wants to know if it's for lunch or dinner. Oh, I forgot to say. Silly me. It's dinner. Uh, let's say about seven o'clock. OK, Mum. I'll send him another message. Oh, do you think Pop could take my shopping list to Mr Zoe as well? I'd like some stuff delivered tomorrow. No problem. Oh, oh dear. It's starting to snow again. They'll never fix the phone lines at this rate. Oh! <laughs> With a messenger like Park, <laughs> who needs a phone? <laughs> ah. Park. We're tiring him out with all these messages. But he's enjoying himself. Uh-oh. I think Grandpa's been secretly snacking again. There's hardly anything left in the fridge. It doesn't matter. Mr Zoe will be making a delivery tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's too late. We haven't got anything for this evening. I'll just have to go and do a bit of shopping myself. But it's starting to snow again. So, I'll get my snowshoes out. Hey, Mum! Let's pot go instead. We just have to ask Mr Zoe to deliver this evening. But he's been flying back and forth all day. He'll be tired. It's OK, Mum. Pock's had a rest. He can do it. All right. But this is his last trip of the day. <laughs> Pock looks tired out. Another message from Zoo? It looks like it. Couldn't you come tonight instead? Oh. Mm, we'll have to hurry. Oh, Mummy, can we please? Darling? I don't see why not. We haven't got anything else planned. All right, then. Let's look sharp. Yippee! That'll be Mr. Zoe. Ooh, right on time, too. <gasps> uh, hello! Hello! I must say, Pock's an excellent messenger. What a clever way to send an invitation. Oh, uh, I wasn't expecting you. Sorry, we are a little early. Day early? We hurried after Pop brought us your latest message. Uh, yes, yes, it's <gasps> just that... Uh, Oh, hey! <laughs> Nearly seven o'clock. What are we going to do? We've nothing to eat in the house and three extra mouths to feed. I think Pock made a mistake with the addresses. It's my fault. I didn't explain properly. It's not your fault, Pock. We gave you too much to do. I should have done the shopping myself. So, what do we do now? Pock will go back to Mr Zoe's. Oh, I think he's lost his self-confidence. Oh, Pock, are you scared of making another mistake? Hmm. Right, you look after our guests while I go to the shop. There isn't time. Mr Zoe closes in less than five minutes. Come on, Pock, you can do it. You're a brilliant messenger. We all think so. Course we do, Pock. Anyone can make a mistake. At least without the telephone, we got some tidying up done in the shop. We couldn't take any orders. You're so lucky to have a carrier, bird. Mm. We could have done with one, too. <gasps> Good evening. I've got your delivery, just as Pock asked. Oh, thank you so much, Mr Zoe. You've saved the evening. <laughs> Not me. Pock. I was just about to close when he arrived. <laughs> I've never seen a bird like him. 
I know! He's the fastest messenger in Zebra Town! Aren't you, Pock? And the most tired one, too! <laughs> <laughs> Zoo and Nana's Blues Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! <laughs> Not bad! <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. It's my turn again. Oh, <laughs> missed. My turn now. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hello, Sue. Hello, Elsie. Hello. Hello, Nana. Nana, is that my photo album? She didn't hear you. Hang on, Zoo. Hmm. I want to see what Nana's doing with the album I made for her. So, how's my picture frame coming along? Hmm. Not too shabbily, though I say so myself. Look. An especially beautiful frame for some very special old family photos. Oh, my word. You've made a beautiful job of it. My pictures will look lovely. Hmm. It's not quite finished yet. Oh, not to worry. I haven't chosen my favourite pictures yet. <laughs> hey, Ooh. can we help you pick your favourite pictures? Oh, yes. Please, please. I love old pictures. Well, yes, of course you can. Yay! <laughs> I could do with the help. <laughs> now, let's see. Um, I like this one. Ah, yes. That's me at the beach. <laughs> I did so love making sandcastles. <laughs> ah, this one's really cute. Isn't it? <laughs> I was trying out my new bicycle. <laughs> I was a bit wobbly. <laughs> Puck likes that one. And so he should. <laughs> <laughs> I grew that tomato all by myself. I was so proud of it. Oh, I do love these pictures. Such happy times. The good old days. When everybody was so pleasant to one another and... <laughs> so polite. Mm. People took their time. So much less rushing around. Mm. <laughs> Families spent time together. So you mean the old days were better? Oh, well, let's just say uh, they weren't quite the same. Your turn again, Zoo. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about Nana. And the good old days. Yes. It's a pity she doesn't enjoy the times we live in as much as hers. Well, we could show her that we're just as polite as they were back then. And that we like doing things slowly. And spending time with our family. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Grandma. Ooh, how nice to see you again. Oh, and how very nice to see you too. It looks very heavy. I expect you're tired after your shopping. Here, take a seat. <laughs> Fruit juice, Grandma? <laughs> Aren't they polite? <laughs> Young ones are very nice and polite nowadays, aren't they? Hmm. Hello, Zoo. Hello, everyone. Hey, Zinnia. Whoa, that looks yummy. Uh, Can I have some? Um, actually, it's for... <sighs> oh, thanks. I was ever so thirsty. Your mum left this at the shop yesterday, so Mummy asked me to bring it back. Bye! Uh, oh! Ooh. Perhaps some children are more polite than others. Hmm. I'll go and get 
some more fruit juice. Thank you. But I'd better go and give this to Mum, oh. and then I'll make some fruit salad for everyone. <laughs> there you go. With my fruit salad. Don't you like it? No, no, it's delicious. We just like to take our time. Mm. It tastes better that way. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> you see now, some people like to do things nice and slowly. Like when you were little. Thanks for my diary. I've just noticed I've got a dentist appointment. I'm terribly late. Bye. Mum's in a rush. Yes. Not like when I was little, I'm afraid. <sighs> Nana, oh. would you like to play a game with us? Yeah. I thought it was time for Zebra Quest. <laughs> Isn't that your favourite television programme? Yes, but we'd rather play with our family than watch television, wouldn't we? Oh, yes. Well, then, in that case, let's play. So, Elsie, guess what? I've got the Zebra Quest game! Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Uh, Nana, would you mind if we had a look at Zach's game? Just for a little while? Of course not. You <laughs> run along. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yeah, of course. There you are, Nana. All done. Oh. Oh, you have made a good job of it. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <gasps> Nana, Ooh. Uh, we finished. Yes, can we play that game now? Oh, why don't we play another time? <laughs> I know how you love your video games. Hmm. Aww. Hello. <laughs> why the long faces? Nana was telling us how things were so much better when she was a little girl. And we wanted to show her that our times are just as good. Mm -hmm. But we didn't. Oh, I see. Hmm. It might be that we tend to remember the good times and forget the bad ones. <laughs> I'm sure things didn't always go smoothly when she was little. And now she's older, she might be a little out of touch with modern life. Um, like when someone's playing a game that I don't know how to. Well, sort of. I think she just needs to be reassured that we all love and need her. Hey, that's easy! Recipe. A little, well, um, I could do with a little help reading this music. Music, yes, of course. I'm thinking of buying this hat. I'd love your opinion. Oh, that one's marvellous. I need some music for my latest installation. You couldn't write some for me, could you? Oh, that's a bit tricky. I but, need uh, your advice. Which chimes will be best for my shop door? This one or oh, this one? Well, I think that the... Uh, and I need a kiss. 
You haven't given me a kiss all day. Oh, I am so sorry, Zoo. But I can soon put that right. <laughs> you know, Zoo, <laughs> I must say, on second thoughts, these modern times aren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo and the Tortoise. Good morning, Sleepyhead. Morning, Grandpa. What do you feel like doing today? I've got a school project to do. We're doing nature. But I'm not too sure what to write about. I always think better on a full tummy. Let's have some breakfast and see if that helps. I still don't know what to do for my project, Grandpa. Nature is such a big thing to write about. Sometimes when I'm stuck for an idea, I think about something else for a while. Why don't you come and help me in the garden? OK. <laughs> That's the way, Zoo. We'll put the weeds on the compost heap. Compost? Compost is the gardener's magic ingredient. We put the fallen leaves and weeds and potato peelings and so on onto the heap. Then they rot and make compost, which is a sort of plant food. It helps make the plants grow. Oh, so that's why he brought all the peelings and stuff from the kitchen. That's right. They'll help make some lovely compost. That's the way. We'll have plenty of compost for my roses soon. Ooh, there are a lot of leaves, aren't there, Grandpa? Yep. This time of year, leaves start to fall off the trees ready for winter. Ooh, those leaves can go onto the compost as well. Hey, Grandpa! Why don't I do my nature project on leaves? We could go to the park and see how many kinds we could find. Great idea. Lead the way, Zoo. Hmm. That's a sycamore seed, Zoo. Drop it and see what happens. <laughs> it's like a helicopter. Yes. It spins so it drops more <laughs> slowly. And the wind can blow the seed to where a new plant can grow from it. Oh, pity it's not a leaf, because all the other leaves look sort of the same. I don't think I want to do my project on leaves anymore. Zipster! Mm. Oh, that sounds like Mrs. Zolly. Zipster! Zipster! Ah, Mrs. Zolly. Hello, Mrs. Zolly. Oh, hello, you two. Who's Zipster? He's a tortoise. I was looking after him for my nephew. I put him in my back garden to walk around. Next thing I knew, he'd gone missing. Well, he must have moved quickly. <laughs> Is he a very <laughs> speedy tortoise? I suppose he must be. I really do have to find him. My nephew will be so upset. Don't worry, we'll help you. Of course we will. Zipster! 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 Hi, Sue. Oh, hi, Elsie. We're looking for Zipster. My nephew's tortoise. You haven't seen him, have you? No. Mum, can we help look for Mrs Ollie's tortoise? I think we should. All right, everyone. Let's get on with Operation Find Zipster. I must have searched every inch of the park twice now and still no sign of Zipster. If he's not in the park, perhaps we need to widen the search. Hmm. Grandpa, I think I've got an idea. <laughs> lost posters? Oh, what a good <laughs> idea, Zoo. Well, I've seen posters for lost pets before. But it's never for a tortoise. Well, there's a first time for everything, Zoo. Your phone number's on the posters, Mrs. Zolly. If anyone finds Zipster, they can call you. Oh, I hope someone does soon. In the meantime, we have lots of other places to search. Oh, dear. Still no 
sign of him. Maybe he's gone home. I'll go and look. Good idea. Mm. And we'll carry on looking here. Okay, thank you. Um. Uh, hey, Zoo. Oh. I think I found Zipster. Look. <laughs> oh. It does look a bit like a tortoise, I suppose. Sorry. <laughs> I was decorating some rocks last year. I wondered where that one had got to. Oh. I know. Maybe he's hungry. Mrs. Solly said he likes lettuce and cucumber. Maybe we could tempt him with that. Good idea. I bought some lettuce earlier today. I'll go and get it. <laughs> Zipster! Zipster! Here, Zipster! Zipster! <gasps> Hear that, Grandpa? It could be Zipster. Zipster! Zipster! <gasps> oh, it's just a mole. No doubt going to dig a hole in my flower beds. Cheeky mole. Hmm. That looks like a shell. Hmm. It's not Zipster. Oh. Hmm. Grandpa, could Zipster have gone into your shed to keep warm? It's possible. Let's go and see. That's just an old garden ornament. I bought it for your nana years ago. It looks very real. It does. Hey, if we put it in the garden, Zipster might try to make friends with it. Now that is a good idea. It's got a bit chipped here and there, but well, I don't think Zipster will notice. We've been waiting ages and there's no sign of him. Well, I think Zipster might be too clever to be fooled by a garden ornament. We didn't find Zipster, and I still don't know what to do for my nature project. What are you going to do for yours, Elzy? I thought something about them harvest. Good idea. I wish I'd thought of that. Elzy, supper time. Has Zipster turned up yet? No, but all this looking's made me really hungry. Me too. In that case, let's go and have our tea as well, Zoo. See you tomorrow. Let me know if you find him. I will. See you tomorrow. Still no sign of Zipster. Maybe he made his way back home. Yes, I hope so. Hmm. Oh, uh, hello, Mrs. Zolly. No, I'm afraid not. Uh, not at your house either. Oh, dear, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure he'll turn up soon. We'll carry on the search tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bye for now. You'd have thought Zipster would have been found by now. We looked everywhere. Someone will find him. They'll see your posters and take him back to Mrs. Zolly. Hope so. Anyway, what are you going to do for your project? I don't know. I thought about the falling leaves. I helped Grandpa put some on the compost today, but then I changed my mind. I'm sure you'll think of something, Bizu. Uh, talking of compost, could you take these peelings out there, please? OK, Mum. <laughs> uh, hmm. Grandpa, there's a sort of hole in the compost. I don't think it was there before. You're right, Sue. It wasn't there earlier. Hmm. I think something's in there, but it's too dark to see. Hello? Is that you? It's Zipster! We found him! Yay! <laughs> hmm. He's not hungry. I don't think he will be, Zoo. That compost will feel warm and cosy to a tortoise. And because it's cold outside, he's hibernating. Hibernating? Hibernating's when some animals go to sleep all through the winter and wake up in the spring when the weather gets nice and warm again. Wow! We need to let Mrs. Solly know we've got Zipster here. We better had, right away. There you go, Zipster. You'll be cosy in this box all through winter now. <laughs> Zipster looks so cosy in there. 
is making me sleepy. I think I'd like to hibernate. You'd miss out on a lot. <laughs> All that fun we'll have in the snow, sledging and, um, and Christmas too. <laughs> Suppose you're right, Grandpa. But at least I know what to do for my nature project now. Hibernation! <laughs> 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 <laughs>